Hi everyone, I'm Deborah, a pharmacy student from Brazil. During my bachelor's, I discovered a passion for research, and I've been working hard to become a researcher ever since. In 2024, I had the chance to work as a research intern in Canada after winning the MITEX Research Internship Award. This program fully covers expenses and supports collaborations between Canada and talented students worldwide. In this video, I'll share my daily routine as a research intern and explain how I applied and won this incredible award. My day starts around 8.30 a.m. I get up and get ready for the day ahead. For breakfast, I always go for something quick and easy, like a sandwich. I'm staying in a house 10 minutes away from the University of Manitoba's Benetton campus, which is focused on health sciences. It's separate from the main campus, because it's a lot closer to the Manitoba clinic, where a lot of health-related stuff happens. I usually get to the university around 9 in the morning. I work at the Apotex Center, which is the main research building. But I also spend a lot of time at the faculty building, the one where the classrooms and library are located. Speaking of the library, it's become one of my favorite places to work. It is tidy, comfortable, and has tons of natural light, which I really appreciate. The quiet atmosphere helps me focus, and being surrounded by books gives me a sense of inspiration. Twice a week, my lab has meetings for the grad students and the professor discuss what they're currently working on. It's a great way for everyone to stay updated and give each other feedback. As an undergrad student preparing a project proposal, it's really important that I attend to those meetings. That way, I can improve my project by sharing all my ideas with my colleagues and have their opinions on it, since they have been doing this a lot longer than I have. Since we're summer interns, we had a room assigned to us during our stay. I usually work here in the mornings that I know that I have a meeting later in the day. I usually get back from the university around 5 p.m., but that doesn't really mean that my work is done. Sometimes I work a bit more if I feel like I haven't done much or if I need to finish something. And since we're only here for three months, I've committed to finish my project after going back home. During the first three weeks of my internship, my lab attended to CAMCO, a conference in Vancouver. It's an annual event that focuses on mother child health, pregnancy, drug safety, and epidemiology. Three of my lab mates were presenting their research and my supervisor was a guest in the mentorship discussion. Luckily for me, a spot opened up and I was able to join them. It was an amazing learning experience. I saw how research is presented, I met amazing people, and I gained a lot of insight into study designs, methods, and the latest guidelines updates. The video that you're watching right now is from this conference. If you're interested in mother-child health and medication during pregnancy, I'll include a link of their website in the description. Regarding the activities hosted by the faculty, I have some cool stuff to share with you. During the month of July, the Faculty of Health Sciences hosted a lunch, followed by a movie called Temple Grand. It was about a revolutionary autistic scientist. They served us free lunch and played the movie inside of an unoccupied classroom. I also had the opportunity to visit the Fort Garry campus, which is the main campus of the University of Manitoba. The university was hosting a meeting for the international students to learn more about study opportunities. They served us pizza and cookies. 
I also used this opportunity to go to the gift shop. I wanted to get something to remind me of this amazing and once in a lifetime opportunity. In the next part of this video, I'll show you how I applied for this internship and share some tips on winning the award and traveling to Canada. First things first, open Google and search for my tags. When the result pops up, click on the first link. This will take you directly to the homepage. Once you're there, look for the apply button and click on it. You'll be taken to the eligibility criteria. To apply, you need to meet a few requirements. You should be 18 years or older, a full-time undergrad or master's student, meet the GPA requirement, and be fluent in either English or French. Also, you need to be available to complete this internship for 12 weeks. When it comes to international partner eligibility, I'm going to be focusing on Brazil. But don't worry, there's a list you can check for your country if you're for somewhere else. Currently, only students from Paraná can apply because MyTax has a partnership with Fundação Araucária, which is specific from this state. I don't know if things will change in the near future to include other states, but for now, only Brazilians from Paraná or institutions within the state are eligible for this program. Here's a list of disciplines that they have professors offering research on. One of the greatest things about this internship is that they don't require a language proficiency exam, making things a lot easier. Since this program is highly competitive, it's essential that you stand out. That means having a strong extracurricular helps you a lot in this application. And this is the good thing. They give you a list of things that you're expected to do. So if you really want to participate in this program, you have to make sure that you have at least two of these activities at your CV. I think it's important to say that every experience matters. So if you participated as a listener in a Congress or contributed on the research as a volunteer, make sure to add that to your CV. I would recommend using the provided CV template as you don't want anything interfering with your application, even something as minor as a CV template. In Canada, CVs with pictures are no longer well regarded, as the person reviewing your CV doesn't really want to base their decision on your appearance. This is important to keep in mind when applying for scholarships and internships. During the year that I applied, the matchmaking between student and professor was based on the project ranking. So don't only choose projects by what you feel like you like best, but also the ones you think you fit best. Now, for the internship and travel tips. Prepare your finances before traveling. The MyTax stipend might take some time to arrive. By having that in mind, I recommend bringing around 200 Canadian dollars in cash. That will cover the basic needs like food and transportation until your funds come through. Get a US visa beforehand. If you have a US visa, you won't need a Canadian visa. Instead, apply for an ETA, the Electronic Travel Authorization. It's an online application, which is quick and easy. Plus, if your flight has a layover in the US, the American visa is required. So plan ahead to avoid any last minute hustles. Use WISE to your money transfers. WISE is a lifesaver when it comes to transferring money from Brazil to Canada or vice versa. WISE will be your best friend. It's by far the easiest, fastest, and cheapest way to handle international money transfers. I can't stress enough how much this platform helped me during my internship. I'll make sure to add my WISE link down below in the description. Booking flights with smart layovers. When booking your flight to Canada, Choose one with a longer layover at your first Canadian stop. That's because immigration process can take a while, especially during busy times. I recommend at least three to four hours between connections to give yourself enough time to clear immigration. Arriving late at night is often less chaotic. That's another factor to consider when booking. Opening a bank account. Once you've settled in, open a bank account. This is your top priority. 
choose a bank that's close to where you'll be staying. I personally used TD Bank. They have great plans for newcomers. Here's an important tip. Open your account as a foreigner, not as a student. Newcomer bonuses are often better than the ones that they offer for student accounts. So take advantage on that. Wrapping up your internship. As your internship comes to an end, make sure to tidy up your finances. I split my remaining funds into two parts. One went to my WISE account for easy access, and the other part I converted to US dollars. I exchanged my Canadian dollars to US dollars directly at the bank, so I had some cash for my return trip and any expenses during layovers. And that's it for today's tips. Following these steps will ensure that your internship is as smooth and enjoyable as it can be. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this with anyone planning their application or internship abroad.